G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. And I've been given some rocks to, um, to process. Yeah, a mate of mine, Lindsay, kindly gave me some rocks. Um, my wife and I have been on holidays. We're down at Albany, Bremer Bay, in the southwest of Western Australia. We're down there on holidays and um, one of the guys, one of my subscribers actually, um, yeah, organised some rocks for me and gave to me. And I'll just give you a, a closer look at this one. This is a piece of quartz. Quartz, and you can see on there on that end, it's all mineralised. And just see that green, that's malachite, that's copper, copper oxide. Yeah, and you can see all the red, rusty colour all through the quartz. So I'm going to roast the. Um, the pieces of quartz I got in the bucket, I'm going to roast them and um, and break them down, crush them up and pan them out. Here's another couple of pieces. There's another piece of quartz there. It's, it's mineralised and um, it looks like a lot of sulphides. Looks like a lot of sulphides in this material. And these rocks are really heavy. Got a lot of weight to them. This one here, you can see all the all that greyish green colour in there. That's all sulphides. Yeah. So anyway, that's the plan, guys. So, I won't do the whole bucket of rocks. I'll just pick out probably half a dozen pieces. And um, I'm just showing me fire. I've got my fire happening over here. There, I've got my fire going on. And just over there, I've got the fire brigade on standby. Yeah, so that's the plan. Look at that piece of rock. See that green? That's malachite. Copper oxide. Yeah. And another rock here. This rock here has got a lot of red red colour on it. I think that's hematite. This rock, I think it's hematite. Yeah, and I've got some um just some some of the other rock is just yeah, quartz and mineralisation in the quartz, so that's all going in the fire. These two big pieces, quartz. And what I'll do, I'll just let that burn down. I'll put a bit more wood on top. I'll just let it burn down and overnight, and then tomorrow morning, I'll, um, yeah, it'll be all cooled down. I'll pull them out and I'll break them down, smash them up, crush them, and pan it out and see if we get any gold. Okay, guys. Here's, um, some of the ore, they've broken up, and I hope you can see that yellow, those yellow sparkly bits in there. It's not gold, it's, um, they're sulphides, um, pyrite, yeah. So, I'm going to crush this rock in the dolly pot, just to break, break it down smaller, and then I'll set up my big crusher and I'll be crushing it.
So I'll go through and I'll just bust it up, make it smaller for the crusher, and I'll get back to you. Okay, there's the material, it's all ground up, nice and fine, ready to pan, and that's not all of it guys, I've still got, oh, I've still got all this ore to do, but I just thought I'd crush up a, a little bit of it, just enough so we can pan it out and we can see if there's any gold. Okay, let's do a pan. Just small pans as usual. And we'll see. See if we can get any gold in this. I know there's going to be a lot of sulfides. Because we saw the sulfides in the ore when I broke it all up. You could see all the that sparkly gold glittery material in the in the actual ore that's that was all sulfides what they call fool's gold so i'm just panning out as much of this quartz that i can There's a heap of sulfides in here. So I'll have to keep all the sulfides and I'll have to roast them. It's pretty much all sulfides now in the pan. Well, there's some quartz there, that's all right. A little bit of quartz in there is not gonna hurt. But what I'll do, we'll do a pan. I'll pan it back and we'll just see if if I can show you some gold. Now all that, you can probably see all that sparkly stuff there in amongst all that, well, I'll call it black sand. You can see all that gold sparkly stuff. It's not gold, it's sulfides, but your gold can be trapped, uh, locked up in the sulfides. So we still might have gold in the sulfides. But I have to roast the sulfides to release the gold from the sulfides. Yeah, and I'm not seeing any gold in this material. Yeah, nothing. There might be some micros. There might be some micros at the back of the pan here. But anyway, um, I'm gonna have to roast, I'm gonna have to pan it all out, collect the sulfides and then roast them. Okay, there's all the sulfides, guys. I'm just waiting for them to dry out. Once they've dried out, then I'll be roasting them. And then I'll repan them and see if we can recover any gold. Okay, guys, I've dried out the sulfides. I've put them on the hot plate. And now I've just got to burn off the sulfur. back to you once the process is finished okay guys here's the sulfides they're the sulfides I just roasted and I um, when they were still hot I poured them I tipped these into some cold water just to give them the shock shock treatment which um, will hopefully will 
help um, release the gold from the sulphides as well as roasting them. Okay, we'll pan it out and see, see if we get any gold, see if I can show you any specs. Um, I'm thinking the worst because usually when, when you crush sulphides or the rock with the sulphides in, usually when you pan it first up, you usually, if there's gold in it, you'll see some specks of gold, even if they're really small. Well, the, the gold in the sulphides in this type of ore is going to be small anyway, but generally you will see it, you will see the gold in the pan after you crush the rock. But we didn't see any. I looked under the jeweler's loop and I didn't see one speck of gold after I crushed it. So when you roast it, um, if there is any gold locked up in the sulphides, it should be free in this material in the pan we should see some gold, if, it, if there was any gold in the sulphides. Yeah, so this is what it's all about. And this type of, um, your, your gold in your, locked up in your sulphides, it's not really what we want to be chasing um, because it's so small, the amount of gold, and the process is so great what you've got to do to, to try and get the gold from the sulphides. It's a lot of work. Um, usually what we want, we want to be able to crush rock, pan it back and see gold in the pan. That, that's free mill gold, that's really what we're chasing. Okay guys, let's see, see if I can show you a few specks of gold out of these roasted sul sulphites. I'm hoping there is because Lindsay really wants to know if there is gold in these sulphites or not. If not, well, back to the drawing board. So far I'm not seeing any. And that, if there was gold in these sulphides, you would see it. It'd be really super fine, but you would see it in the pan. I mean, I don't want to be looking under the microscope. We want to be out for a serious gold, we want to be able to see a tail. Even if it's fine specs, we want to be able to see a tail. And I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing anything. That's all right. We know, or well, Lindsay now knows, not to worry about this material. Um, maybe look for something else. I'll have a look under my jeweler's loop. There may be a couple of little fine specks in here, but that's not good enough. It's not what we want. Okay, guys, I'll see you at the wrap-up. Well, firstly, thank you very much, Lindsay, for um, giving me that material and allowing me to process it and just to see if there's any gold in it, but um, unfortunately, mate, no, there was nothing in it. Um, I panned it back, that last bit that was in the pan, I panned it back a couple of times, and I looked through me jeweler's loop. No, nothing, not even a single speck. Um, I would have put money on that there would have been gold in that rock just by looking at it, it, it looked really good. It had the um, cocoa pyrite, which is your copper, your copper, um, copper pyrite, I suppose you call it, copper sulphide. Yeah, that, that was all through the rock, but no, no not a single, single speck of gold. I really find that hard to believe, but I didn't see any, yeah. So um, you can leave that, mate, and um, look for something different, yeah. Uh, but that's, pros that's prospecting, guys. That's, if you've been watching my videos, you'll see I, I go at the hills, I'll get rocks, I'll crush them, I'll pan them out, I'll find nothing. Occasionally I'll get some microscopic specks in the pan. Um, but yeah, that, that's just how it is. Um, you just got to keep looking. Yeah. So um, yeah, so unfortunately I couldn't show you any gold, guys. But I can show you some other gold. I can show you a $5 gold coin. Australian gold coin. 
and um, leave a comment on this video and my next video when it comes out I'll um, announce the winner of this coin yeah another gold coin giveaway to one of you subscribers and um, if you're not already subscribed guys get on board it's it's free it costs you nothing to subscribe what it'll do it'll help my channel grow the more subscribers I've got the more the algorithm will push my videos out so more more people can see my videos that, that's what it does and uh, yeah as I said it's free it costs you nothing and to be subscribed to my channel you get the chance of winning this coin simple as that and I've got many more of these coins every now and again I'm just going to give one away yeah so you've got to be sub subscribed to be in it so get on board guys and um, another thing I was going to mention I have a second channel and my wife and I have just come back from holidays we went down south the south of Western Australia and um, I made a couple of videos on a couple of towns down there the beautiful beaches and that if you're into looking at beaches and that sort of thing um, check out my new channel it's called Kevin and camera I'll just put the link here somewhere Kevin and camera yeah so check out that channel that's my other channel other than gold prospecting I sort of get out and um, I go down to the beaches local local here and I've I video and take photos of the of the local surfies. Yeah, the guys down get down to the local beaches here and um, ride the waves and that. I'm sort of starting to get into that. I I just got a um, a feel about it and um, yeah, and I just went down to the beach there one day and I just started videoing these guys riding these their surfboards on these waves and it uh, yeah it just it got me in. So um, that, I, I do that a bit now. I'll go down and do a bit of um, filming the the guys surfing and that sort of thing um yeah and when when the wife and i go on holidays i do a bit of a video of the towns that we that we're staying in or we're traveling through and uh, that's that's all on my new channel yeah kevin and camera okay guys i've rattled on enough um thanks again Lindsay. cheers mate and thanks to all you subscribers out there that subscribe to my channel and help my channel give me the mighty thumbs up appreciate you all cheers ah, we've had a few wet miserable days really um, cold too cold for spring but today 24 25 degrees blue sky beautiful in paradise see ya okay guys thanks for watching and bye for now.